Welcome riding buddies. We're here with Harry Mason once again. Mm. We're going to have a look. This video is gonna be just a bit of a walk around Harry's shed here. If you haven't seen Harry's other videos that I've done, go back and check them out as well. There's a video, a couple of videos there on Harry's shed, one and two. They're that big, I had to make it into a two part <laughs> series. But um, we wanna have a, just a walk around, check out what he's got. But be sure to tune in because we're going to have some more videos on a few of his bikes as well as we go along. So, Harry, um, you and I have known each other for quite a while now. Yeah. <laughs> and you've even got some of my old bikes. Oh, but yeah. um, And bikes that tried to kill me and all sorts of different things. <laughs> How long have you been really doing this for? Uh, about 2005 I kicked off. Yeah. And um, with an interest of just one or two bikes. And then... They started reproducing. <laughs> you bred them. <laughs> yeah, they <were> breeding. <laughs> yeah uh, the greenbacks, they help breed them. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. add a few more greenbacks and then they come back. Yeah, know. they just keep emerging. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've got some really special bikes here as well. There's an RH250 Suzuki down there. Mm -hmm. Ordinary stuff here, but the ordinary stuff, obviously, when people collect just ordinary bikes, say, an XL500, an absolutely beautiful XL500 I'm looking at over there behind Aaron, you're operating the camera for us. There's always a story behind it. There's always a reason why right, you yeah. buy them. And mm. I've always found a lot of the time it's because, oh, I had one of those when I was a kid. Or, oh, yeah, I remember this guy in our town who used to wheelie all the way through town on one. That's Just right. little stories like that. Mm. So, obviously, you've got a lot that are like that. That's it. That XL500 is typical of that because um alan wilkins used to wheelie for two miles on his so i'll, I'll try that one day mm, how'd that go <laughs> not <laughs> most people consider ordinary bikes but they all mean something don't they they do yeah there's a history there's a story behind them yeah and that that's that's the main thing it's not like what's your collection up to now i know last time we here it was like 140 something oh probably it was about 170, but I sold four bikes in the oh, last few months. You sold bikes? Yeah, I sold a couple. Oh, I've never heard of him selling a bike. <laughs> no <laughs> duplicates. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. You get rid of the extras. Um, but, yeah, so you've obviously just been getting them here, there, everywhere. Yeah. Um, a yeah. couple of the bikes I know have got local stories. Yep. And um, some of them are just, you're saving them from a graveyard. I know you've done that with quite a few. Mm. I think there was a an MT one two five you've got here somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. which um, what was the go with it? It was well, actually, Turbo had one, and he was had it down his back shed in the junk, and I done a bit of a deal with him, and it came it came with it, but as a parts bike, it was in pieces. Put it together and saved it. But um, there's another one over the other shed that's got no seat, but and but um. You know, it's another one that could have been put in the junk, but now it's in my shed and one day it might get a restoration. One day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> a lot of one days. One day. A lot of one days. Yeah. Sure you've subscribed to John's Motorcycle Mania? It's a proven fact that subscribing to John's Motorcycle Mania will help you build your bike collection. So make sure you get that done. And now we're just going to have a bit of a look at Harry's shed, just around the shed. Chance after chance While he does his pester and festival dance If anybody can wear the pants he wears Oh no, he couldn't Maybe he would dance
Okay, so that's been a little bit of a walk around of Harry Mason's shed here. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of an extensive collection. Uh, there's a lot of bikes here. Some really nice bikes, some that in the process of repairs, but mm. shall we say, one day we'll get them done. But um, that has been a little bit of a look. Make sure you keep an eye out over the coming weeks for a couple of videos that I've actually done on a couple of specific bikes uh, that I just, I felt that they needed their own video. So keep your eye out for those. Make sure you subscribe to John's Motorcycle Mania and we will catch you next time.